<laughs> okay, the Barrett Kohler Constitution Project was inspired, as so many things are at Barrett Kohler, by something in one of our books. A uh, new book uh, by Marjorie Kelly, Owning Our Future, talks about the John Lewis Partnership in uh, the UK. It's the largest department store chain in the UK, multi-billion dollar business, um, 76,000 employees, and they have a constitution, which if you just uh, Google John Lewis Partnership Constitution, you'll find it's an amazing document. And we started thinking, well, maybe Barrett Kohler should have a constitution too. And uh, now we wouldn't just copy theirs, but it would be unique and distinctive for us. So um, we are starting to work on a written constitution, a written document that clarifies and codifies what BK stands for, how BK works as an organization, relationships with all of our stakeholder groups. Its purpose is to make BK's unique mission, values, commitments, and practices more likely to succeed and endure by defining and expressing them for easy consultation by all BK stakeholders at any time. So we're transparent, we're, uh, how things work within Barrett Kohler is open to everyone. Um, and this is a pretty ambitious project. It's gonna take a number of years. Where, where we've gotten so far on it uh, is, is just starting to, beginning to create an outline of, of, or a table of contents for what the Constitution would be. In your, in your folders, the last uh, uh, sheet in your folder, the bottom sheet in your folder, is that outline of where we are so far. And this is just, this is a, just the beginning of an outline. Um, it's, uh, it's going to continue being refined. This is the beginning. Um, so uh, I've got about six, five slides on what's in the outline. Um, I'm not gonna go through these in detail. I'm just gonna go kind of rapid fire because we wanna get to the Q&A at four o'clock as advertised. Um, uh, we like to run our train on time. Um, so uh, the mission and purposes, the values and ethics of the company, uh, commitments of the company to our stakeholders. Uh, this is somewhat unique. You know, most organizations don't do that. They don't try. We've done that already with the Bill of Rights and Responsibilities for BK Authors, which is the model here. You know, what, what is our commitment to all of our different stakeholder groups? Let's put that, let's figure it out. Let's go through. This is something that may take years to, to really work through this. It's, we're going to have to come up with the processes to do it. But, you know, what are our commitments uh, in different areas? Uh, and how can we articulate them? How can we convey them? How can we communicate them? Um, so that's part of it. Um, what are the responsibilities of the stakeholders to Barrett Kohler and to each other? Um, uh, that's going to take a lot of, a lot of work to figure that out. Um, what are the relationships to our affiliated organizations between the BK Authors Cooperative with a possible Barrett Kohler nonprofit organization? Um, what are the audits? How are we going to audit all of this? How are we going to monitor it? Um, that's, uh, that's its own section. Um, board governance, as, as Diane and Julie were talking about. Um, the staff organization, how does that work? How does leadership work? Um, uh, what are the compensation structures? How does our decision-making process work? Uh, as you might, you might guess, um, survey and involve in the process over the coming years. We're looking for models of the language or provisions, what others have done uh, that, that could be a section. We decided to do this rather, it's too big of a thing to do all at once, so it's going to be kind of one section at a time, or some of the parts of the outline we've already, you know, got a pretty good start on. Others were just beginning, but that's our, our process.